Uh, I'm Seymour Duncan, and uh, I'm a guitar parts inventor, I guess you could say. I was always the uh, kid growing up in the neighborhood who would always fix somebody's guitar or amplifier. At first I was doing rewinds, but then Kathy and I said, man, we, we need to do some kind of pickup or something, you know, and, but that was the start of the whole Seymour Duncan Company back in, I guess what, end of 76, going on to 77. Uh, the company has a lot of history in making pickups, I mean, and we've made more pickups than any other company, I think, out there, different models and different styles, and, and all the experience we've had in the custom shop, all the different things we've done there. That's what tone's about, you know, what, what you try to create to give another player their tone and their style. And that's what makes me feel good and to be able to do that, you know. So it's, it's, it's fun, that's, that's the fun part. The uh, unique thing about Seymour Duncan is, is we did go into making active pickups and the circuitry and, and trying different things led us into Kevin being more excited <laughs> about making the pedals. So making uh, the active pickups helped develop uh, the pedals that we were doing, understanding electronic circuits and what needed to be done, and that's where Kevin came in. Hi, I'm Kevin Beller. I'm the uh, VP of Engineering here at Seymour Duncan. I met Seymour when he was a repairman in one of the local music stores. I was working in a factory doing process development engineering work, and I was also a musician in my spare time, so I played bass, and I had bought a number of bases from the store where Seymour worked and I just got to know Seymour really well. At one point Seymour left. Uh, I come in looking for Seymour and I'm like, where's Seymour? And they go, well he he's got his own shop now and, and you know and I had to wrangle the address out of him to go and see him and I just kind of kept a running relationship going with Seymour. I was working in a original band and it was looking really uh, like a promising uh, uh, enterprise, so I quit my job and I'm going to go on the road with the band. We're doing lots of recording, and the whole thing just fell apart about a month later. So I'm in there telling my sad story to Seymour, and, and Kathy comes in and goes, Well, you know, would you ever consider working for us? What the heck, let's give it a try. The idea for pedals came 80s, early 90s. We were working with uh, one of our OEM customers, Jackson Guitars, and at that time we were supplying with pickups and we were building some onboard uh, circuitry for them. And there was a little circuit that we designed called the Firestorm, which was a little mid-range boost. Uh, and we had somebody go, you know, if you could put that thing in a pedal, we could sell a million of them. And uh, at, at that point, we, we started looking for ways to package this Firestorm into a pedal and it, it ended up becoming the original pickup booster. Probably one of the most important factors in developing excellent products is having a really good team. In engineering, I think I've got a great team right now. Uh, when you look out into the company a little bit farther through sales and marketing, we're, we're just loaded with really talented people, talented musicians, uh, very creative people, and I think this group that we've got really uh, makes product development a lot easier it, and, and certainly you, there's just so much raw talent raw energy raw creativity and we all um, we all really love doing this stuff so we're have a great time with it looking into the future uh, you have to stay responsive to the needs of the market you have to stay on top of upcoming technology to really advance the state of the art our near plans are to continue developing more pedals, having a lot of fun with this dynamic responsive feature that we've worked into a couple of our pedals now where as a player you can influence the settings dependent on the way that you play, how you attack the string and uh, your, your actual playing style. So we're, we're going to work that into some more pedals, that's one of the uh, features that we think we can offer that as players experience that in a pedal it's going to be something that uh, it'll work well with their creativity and give them a new tool to work with. I was a player, I grew up as a player, I had have a lot of friends that are players 
and that uh, uh, I make something because I make it because I love it. And I want them to know that I'm making them something that I would make for myself.